Hello again, everybody. This is Skywalker, and uh, we are jumping back into another episode of Chrono Trigger. We are searching for a time-traveling machine that apparently is held up in the futuristic time. So we're going to head down these sewers. And uh, before we saw some henchmen uh, doing a little talk, let's see if, if we can get down to this bridge down here. We chowed down a lot. Uh, we made it to 12,000 BC. Okay, I think we're supposed to be quiet or something. The fishmen attack even if I make the slightest noise. Alright, so there's a note there. Um, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and check out the other level because there's more to it just in case. There could be some special items I don't want to miss. So let's see if we can head to the right. Oh good. Well, there's one item at least. Got a new enemy on the screen. <laughs> I was going to say, we, yeah, we chowed down a lot when we went to uh, 12,000 BC. Edgar and Nyred. We uh, heard of a prophet that came uh, and things have changed for the queen. Uh, we also learned that Lavos is actually a some kind of battery uh, for energy in the year 12,000 BC. And what else? Oh, we saw that little kid with the cat uh, who spoke the very same words that Magiset spoke when we met him up in his castle, the Black Wind Blows. That was interesting. Uh, we've charged the pendant that Nadia had. I don't know if you guys remember back in, in the lean square days. When uh, Luna, you know, did her little uh, time, her, was it particle transfer machine thing? So we've charged that pendant. We can now open those doors. Um, so we're headed again to find the old psychotic guy in the mountain uh, to find that time machine. Cheese. I think if you end up picking anything up around here, enemies attack. So we're going to head on right past them. Some denizens of the deep hanging out. Uh, let's see what we're gonna do here. Got a rage man. Let's see what the rage man's all about. I'm guessing it's an accessory. Wow, 50% counterattack rate. I kind of like that. Uh, ooh, you know, with 650 hit points, who do I want to have a counterattack rate? Um, silver stud and silver green. I'm going to leave that behind for now. We will slap it on someone a little later on. There are parts, you know, there's certain people you don't want to attack because they also have counterattack, so I don't want to put that on just yet. Sir Crawley. <laughs> Evil laughs. They're still going. Probably a boss. Let's 
see how fire does them. Wow. He just took me down to one hit point. Is that it? Oh wow, that guy was pretty easy. One hundred XP, five tech, five hundred gold, one mid ether. We will have to heal Frog in just a second. Now yeah, there's no more to that. All right, that was quite simple. If you uh, if you guys have got any tips for this game, by all means, post them in the comments. I mean, uh, it's been a long time since I made it this far, so it's going to be a rough ride. You know, I might may have to consult uh, Google, uh, maybe maybe some walkthroughs, some text walkthroughs. May or may not happen in the middle of the video, you know. So, oh, here comes another enemy. So yeah, I could use some help. You know, if you have any suggestions. Tech, 200 gold. It has been a long time since I've included Naughty in my party. It's we'll be coming up on that time sooner or later. All right. One bolt sword. Let's see uh, which one of these guys can use it. I'm hoping it's Chrono. So oh, it is. That's an old sword. That's an old school one. All right. Aeon Blade is much better, so we can leave that on. And I think this bridge has just allowed us easier access to a previous area we've already been to. seen a little little ladder at this particular section. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's the that's the one. All right. We're going to head this way. That's up. Let's let's check down just to see if there's extra items down here. Because I believe that ladder goes to the surface. Okay, it's right. Okay. Yeah, so that's uh, just easier access uh, back the way we came. So we'll head, go ahead and head up this ladder. <coughs> Alright. We've got Death Peak and also the Keeper's Dome. Let's see what the Keeper's Dome is all about. a sleeping new. Let's just go talk to him. Oh, I can't even reach him? Oh, I went the wrong way, I guess. Here we go. Do not disturb my slumber. Looks like none of these consoles work. We do have a door we can enter, though. Are the crew of reason I once lived in the kingdom of Zeal. This is good news. A great disaster in Zeal somehow threw me into this era. To my surprise, Lavos exists here, and I suspect in other periods as well. Aeons ago, Lavos descended from the heavens. Burrowing deep into the world's core, he began to consume our planet's energy and grow stronger. Interesting. A great calamity from the skies. 
Lavos disappeared briefly when he was summoned away by a mighty wizard who lived in Guardia in the year 600. Interesting. That must have been Magus. In 1999, Lavos claimed this area and reigns from high top Death Peak. Continues to replicate like a giant parasite consuming our world. So we're not going up Death Peak because I don't want to get a premature ending. Forced to live here, I continue to conduct research on Lavos, but I am growing old, and it's impossible to keep sane in such trying times, so before I lose it completely, I shall safeguard my data and my ultimate creation. How I long to return home, but I have grown frail, so you, you who have opened the door, I leave things in your hands. Only by mastering time itself do you stand a chance against Lavos. The odds will be against you, but your true hero's world is in your hands. The wings of time. I think we found what we're looking for. That moves through time, but I don't know how to access it. Well, that's our time ride machine, but again, how am I going to get in it? Here we go. I guess that's three seats right there. Press the square button for the time gauge, then use the L1 and R1 buttons to select an area. This is a really good time for us right now. I think we're going to be able to freely move back and forth through time and possibly fly over any continent in this machine. idea what to name this thing. Okay, the Epoch. Um, I guess we'll just leave it. Apex. I don't know. High Noon. I don't know. Midnight. I'm going to leave it. Epochs, Epoch works. I have no idea what that stands for, but it's probably time related or something. Up aboard. Yada yada yada. Three seats. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so this is my time gauge. I'm gonna hit L1. Okay, 1999. Whoa, whoa. End of time. 1999, 1000 AD, 600 AD, 1200 BC, and prehistoric time. I'm pretty sure we're headed back to the Dark Ages. But uh, I'm going to go to my own time because I want to pick up some, uh, hopefully, stuff from, um, let's see, where's the present time? 1080. We're going to go to our present time. <coughs> I want to check. Luna's house and see if her dad has anything new for us. This has opened up a lot of options for us. We're going to be able to freely travel to any time period we want.
So, I mean, we're going to end up bringing items back and forth, characters back and forth at different time periods. Now, can I fly in this thing? Oh, I thought I could fly in the damn thing. I guess I can't. Character select menu. I could have swore you used to be able to fly all over the worlds in the damn thing, but I guess it's not looking like it. Okay, well, we're going to head to Ludna's house in any case. I know where the machine's uh, sitting over there. Wasn't Fiona's house down there? See, th things change periodically, and I want to be able to figure out all the different uh, little nooks and crannies we can find. Because I'm sure there's plenty. Awesome. Okay, the tab and suit. Tab and helm. Okay, do you have anything else? Alright. There was another uh, time period, uh, time in the game where I should have visited, but I didn't, so that's why I got two items at once. That's Luna's father. Taban is Luna's father, and he will, like I said, periodically have stuff made for Luna. Let's see if it's better than what we've picked up throughout our travels. I really doubt it is. Luna, let's see here. Taban helm. Oh, wow. What is she wearing now? Beret? All right, we'll give her her helm. Oh, wow. Speed plus three, fire guard up is better than the Lumen robe. We'll go ahead and put Taban suit on her. That works. We'll go ahead and do that for now. So what? The question is, okay, that's, I know the, the answer to my own question. I'm guessing we want to find a way to get back to 12,000 BC to find out what's going on out there. We got kicked out prematurely by the, uh, the prophet that had shown up, and Shala ended up saving us. Alright, I've seen that before, I don't want to watch it again. Shala is one of the heirs to the throne, I guess the daughter of the queen, Queen Zeal. And also, uh, that's right next, next to... Janice, the little boy with the cat. Um, I guess let's head back to the time machine. I want to check something really quick. I thought, uh, wasn't Fiona's house right here in the middle of this desert? Here's some place we never checked out, the ticket office. You can ride this boat back and forth between uh, Lean Square area, Truce, and this place, I think. Oh, you know what I want? There's someone who sells beef jerky in the area. We need to buy some for, it's like 9,999 gold. A residence. This will be, once we find it, an example of one of the things you can do. And you got to take stuff, you know, to the past or to the future, and it'll end up changing the course of the game in different time zones. Things will change. And this is, this is an example of such, but we have to find a woman who's got... Who wants beef jerky. She wants beef jerky? No, that's not the one. Maybe it's in 680... Yeah, 
Yeah, it's probably in 680. You. Oh darn it, where'd I put that damn ship? And now I gotta find the epoch again. We are coming up on the end of this episode. Um, I'll give you guys one more glimpse of how our t new time traveling machine works, and then uh, I'm gonna end it. We're gonna head to the Middle Ages. Alright guys, uh, with that, uh, this has been Chrono Trigger, this has been Skywalker, and I will see you guys next episode.